All right, and welcome to uh, the third uh, version of that track lacrosse. Uh, this is, I think, its final version now. I've changed a few things, and I think it's just even better than before. So let's have a look at uh, the few things I've changed, and I think they really make a huge difference. Hey, you stay there, right? Jesus Christ, that thing is alive. Anyway, so there it is. <coughs> So the frame is the same, the crank set is the same. The crank set right there is the same, the same chain ring, same pedals. Uh, but what you can notice if you've paid attention and you've watched uh, the previous versions, version version one and version two, uh, the tires and the wheels, and that's like the big improvement. So let's have a look at that in detail. All right, so uh, a truck lacrosse, uh, you need like uh, fixed gear hubs, so, I decided that I wanted better, lighter wheels, and so that's what I did. I chose the Mich Miche uh, Primato uh, Track Hubs 24 holes, and which are great, uh, very classic, and nothing special about them. They just they look great. They do the job, and much better than the previous ones I had, which were uh, really like entry level, super cheap, crappy. <laughs> Um, hubs, these ones are much better and they look great. Uh, they are laced with um, um, silver, of course, spokes, uh, sapping race, I think. Not the lightest, but strong enough and good enough. And in the back, let's have a look at this. Okay, so double uh, fixed side so that's fixed here and fixed there and I, I just left that one on the left uh just because i i like how it looks when it's still on it i'm not even gonna use it but i like the way it looks and again i think it's also 24 same spokes the only the other thing you can you well you cannot notice it but i'm telling you it's uh the cog it's a new one it's a 20 teeth so that's 20 in the back and 49 teeth in the front, and it's even smoother than before, uh, easier to ride, like it's really made to chill, because on that bike, I just want to fucking chill. And with that combination of 20 and 49, this is super easy, right? I I'm not gonna use that to like, um, be go super fast or anything like that. It's not the point. It's not the point of the bike. So these are the spokes and the hubs, but the masterpiece, or well, the uh, most important thing, it, it's the, the, the rims. So, DD Swiss RR521 in the back with DB, because of course these are um, rims for disc brakes, so road or especially gravel. So, this is a great example of why the track lacrosse is a unique. Uh, uh, breed of bikes because while well, even the wheels themselves you have to build them I have my uh, wheel builder in Paris Paul Legendre who is, who's done that for me because otherwise you cannot find wheels like that you cannot find a wheel set like that with that with the, that wheel in, in, in the back and that wheel in the front you really have to make it so it makes the bike even more unique because the the original wheels uh, they were just super heavy crappy entry-level quality all black and, and, and like it was those were wheels for like single speed and so that's why there was a braking track in the back and in the front which is the case here right you can see the braking surface right there silver right and because the, this is the rr 511 which is really more of a uh, road uh, bike rim like aluminum but light and of course it's dd swiss so super quality uh, but like for training or winter riding or whatever because i need of course a uh, braking surface on the front wheel because well i have brakes all right so i absolutely needed a braking surface but not in the back not in the back and in the back i could choose the 521 uh which are like i said made for disc brakes and i love them the 521 because they are wider uh than the previous wheels i had like it's uh 20 21 uh 21 external width right and not i think it's 19 internal uh the 521 
so really wider and 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 higher too because it's 32 millimeters uh, the 521 is uh the 521 is 32 millimeter high and the 511 is 32 millimeters high too so you got something like coherent and even though they're not exactly the same because the 511 uh, is a bit narrower like i think it's 18 uh internal width and like 2021 20, uh, external width so not exactly as wide as the 521 but you really have to put them side by side to see the difference in width otherwise it's you cannot notice it of course the braking surface the silver braking surface creates visually a difference between uh, the front and the rear but in reality because they're both 32 uh, millimeter high right 32 millimeters and 32 millimeters Visually, it's the same. You create some really sort of coherence, which is what I wanted, because I think when, you, when you've got a wheel set, you ha they have to be the same, uh, the same wheel, same brand, otherwise it looks just weird. I don't like that at all, except for like track bikes, when you have like disc wheels and, and, and spokes, uh, carbon wheels in the front, then a difference is okay, but otherwise, most of the time, I, I really prefer when you have like the same wheels in the front and in the back, same brand, the same type, same, same just, I mean, that's the majority of bikes, that's the case, all right? Uh, for the tires, I've also changed the tires. You can see these are really like nice and, and, and shiny. Uh, these challenge, sorry, it's upside down, uh, challenge gravel grinder, so like, of course, even the name is awesome, all right? Uh, they're a bit more aggressive than the previous I had and I had like too much flats honestly too much flats with the Panaracer Gravel King SS So I, I really wanted a change to have something a bit more like resistant and beefier and, and these ones are uh, The profile the knobs are a bit more aggressive All right, really for gravel even though I'm not going to use that that bike on gravel roads But I like the look of it and by the way, these are 36 36 exactly 36 and a tiny bit wider than the Panaracer Gravel King SS which were 35 so the wider the better I love it like that I've also added another uh, uh, tube um, protection on the frame because I was always like locking that on, on posts and, 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 and you know urban uh, steel thing like that and there was always like you see like like cheap on the paint and so now it has two of them one here and one there. This one is even like even more uh, thicker than the one up there. And so now I, I can really put it everywhere like it's protected. And I like the look of the two, uh, the two uh, protection tubes. Uh, the stem is also new. Uh, it's kind of aluminum and shiny black with a tiny touch of like, well, pseudo uh, carbon, but it's basically the same short and going up. That's uh, 60 millimeters and 25 degrees the rest is the same but the bars are different these are 74 74 millimeters yeah 74 no centimeters uh, 74 uh, centimeters wide uh, riser because i had before uh, flat bars really flat and i think riser just look even better and these are carbon so a bit lighter and uh, it's matte UD black, but there's some sort of like, like kind of shiny black on black part. It's very cheap because yes, it's straight out of China, but it does the job. I didn't need to buy like super expensive NV or Thompson uh, flat uh, mountain bike bars. These are great. So now 74, this is some seriously wide shit. And this is what I love. And oh yeah, the saddle too is new, even though it's very similar to the previous one. That's the C17, uh, all weather and all black and shiny. It's really shiny and beautiful and all black. And it's a bit wider because yeah, I, I thought it was just more coherent with the bike to have a slightly wider saddle. So I'm really happy with that too. And yeah, well, basically that's it. I could go on and on about that bike and explaining why it's awesome and why I love it so much, but I really think that the new uh, wheels um, and the new tires is just making it just so ridiculously awesome, also with the wider bars. So that's it. That's the third and possibly final version of the track lacrosse. I don't know if you've watched all of this, uh, but if you have, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you love that bike as much as I do, which is impossible because I'm going to ride it. And when you ride it, the love grows and increases like crazy because it's awesome to ride that bike. 
uh, super comfortable and now even more badass than before. All right, so see you in the next one.